Okay, yung case natin today is a case of a former or a retired canine unit dog. Ang pangalan niya is Chica. She's a 15-year-old female Belgian Malinois na dinala sa clinic natin because of a huge mammary mass dito sa kanyang left flank. Uh, nakita na, na observe siya initially 3 months ago. Hinayaan kasi nagkaroon ng hindi sila makalabas because of the pandemic. Noon dinala sa clinic natin, ito ang laki na. Kasi laki na halos ng maliit na papaya or uh, melon. No? Ganyang kalaki. At nung kinapa natin, chinek, chinek natin, yung ibang parte pa ng kanyang mammary glands, nakita natin na hindi lang isa, kundi marami pang mga buko na naandun. And maybe uh, affecting already the lymph nodes. No? Doon sa, sa malapit sa lugar. So, kung anong gagawin natin sa mga ganitong klaseng cases, mga nyo, because... We are going to discuss that next. Hi guys, if you just tuned in, my name is Dr. Fritz Resho. I'm an animal doctor. And every week we post cases, videos, topics, tips on how to better take care of your fur babies. And this week, we're going to talk about radical mastectomy on mammary tumors. So, but before we proceed, like you naman, share and subscribe to our, our YouTube channel so that you'll be updated every time we post videos here. If you have a friend, if you know someone who, who's experiencing the same cases, share nyo itong video na to so that you make, they can pick up uh, ideas and tips no, on how to proceed with the cases that they have. On with our topic, din na sa clinic natin si Chica. She's a 15-year-old female Belgian Malinois. She was a canine unit dog. No? She was mga bomb sniffing, law enforcement uh, units na nakikita natin yan usually sa mga malls, sa mga establishments, sa airports. No? Ayan yung trabaho niya dati. Pero uh, once they reach a certain age, nagre-retire na sila. Eh, no? Now, nandito siya sa isang facility sa May Bulacan. Doon inaalagaan along with the other old dogs na that retired already. So let's start lang ito na maliit. Hanggang sa ganito lang yung size niya halos daw nung umpisa eh. Within 3 months, sobrang laki. And she's intact. Ibig sabihin, hindi pa natatanggal yung kanyang matres. Meron pa mga growth dito. At kailangan natin tanggalin. Huh? So ang kagawin natin sa kanya is ovary hysterectomy with uh, radical mastectomy. So it's a very long procedure. Um, problema nito, medyo matanda na siya. So sana kaya niya. Although yung blood exams na ginawa natin, maganda naman. Um, actually, good. excellent yung kanyang results, no? But then again, this is an old uh, old lady, an old dog. So, yung, yung responses niya, yung, yung um, physiologic responses niya with Insults like surgery can be a little bit slower than when she was a uh, lot younger. The owners are very much worried kung papabayaan, baka lumala. So, inala sa atin, yes, usually yung mga ganitong klaseng tumors, kapag pinabayaan mo, talagang pagpuputok yan, lalangawin, uuurin, tapos may infect pala, no? bumabaho. So, maganda habang maliit pa, ma-address na natin. Ipatandal nyo na. Uh, ipa-examine nyo na agad kung talagang duda kayo na may nakakapa kayong buko dun sa mammary glands nila padala nyo na dahil mas maliit mas, mas uh, madaling tanggalin mas mabilis yung recovery isa pa kapag uh, hinayaan yung lumaki uh, baka kumalat pa yan sa ibang parte ng katawan niya no? at saka baka mas mas lalo ng mahirap uh, mag-recover yung aso no? kawawa naman this is the major or the primary lesion, na yung, uh, yung mass. And along with it, sa peripherals, may makikita pa tayo ng maliliit na nodules, no? Growths along this uh, abdominal mammary, mammary glands, no? These are most likely mammary tumors, no? Ito pa yun, sa kaliwa. So, meron pa din tayo nakikita dito sa taas. So, we are going to do a radical mastectomy. Which means, sapanggalin natin both yung kanyang mammary glands so uh, lahat ng ito so yung problema lang dyan um, I don't know if we have enough skin to cover for everything no? but we'll see 
So we're doing this uh, ultrasound no? para makita natin yung laman ng yung to check on the uh, uterus and the ovaries. Okay naman yung uterus is the ovaries so we see a lot of nodules also. Maliliit, no? Yung mismo sa ovaries. So it's not just externally but also the primary uh, reproductive organs which is the the uh, ovaries, no? Well, 50% of mammary tumors in dogs are malignan. Uh, if your dog has masses doon sa kanyang mammary glands, kumonsulta na agad sa veterinaryo. Actually, yung ovaries niya, no? May, may mga lumps na rin, may mga bukol. But since the owner doesn't want to take that risk, no? Kasi nga, matanda na itong si ano. Hindi, hindi na napapaspay, papatanggal. Uh, radiographs, no? Chinect natin yung lungs for meds. Chinect rin natin yung liver and uh, kung may makikita pa tayong mga ibang affected organs, clear naman siya, no? And uh, lastly, ginawa natin siya ng blood exam. I was very surprised to find out na yung blood exam nitong uh, si Chica is really very good. Parang 7 year old lang. Batang bata pa yung, yung uh, health condition, health status nitong si Chica. So proceed tayo sa surgery. radical mastectomy. Meron kasing simple mastectomy lang. Ibig sabihin, isang buko lang yung natanggalin uh, kapag yun lang yung affected. No? Uh, lampectomy or mas simple mastectomy. Kapag uh, regional mastectomy, if you see two or three masses in one area, yun lang yung tatanggalin niya. And then you leave the others behind. However, kung halimbawa yung mga mass na yun na nakuha ay uh, malignan, posible na yung iba pang, yung iba pang parte o iba pang mamari glansa na iwan doon ay magkaroon din ng tumors kaya ginagawa na lang ng radical mastectomy radical mastectomy ibig sabihin yung buong hilera ng mula sa abdominal hanggang sa thoracic uh, mamari glans tinatanggal na mamari tumors from this side and pagbibigitan na natin ngayon siya so kung it's very scary to look at yung ano nandito pa it's a very long procedure, it's bloody, that's why we have to make sure that the platelets or yung clotting factors niya are in good condition. Otherwise, mahihirapan tayo. Ano pa yung ibang mga determining factors that we need to know? Yun, mas malaki ang tumor, mas ma hindi maganda yung prognosis. No? Mas matanda yung aso, hindi rin maganda yung prognosis no? kasi yung recovery niya after. And kung may affected na lymph nodes or kung kumanat na ba dun sa ibang katawan, hindi rin maganda yung sinyalis yan, no? So, all these three factors affect, affected si Chica, 15 years old. Malaki yung tumor, may malaking lump, no? Uh, and there are other small lumps all over, possibly affecting also the regional lymph nodes. So, hindi maganda yung, kumbaga, hindi maganda yung prognostic factors. However, hindi naman na siya pababayaan na may ari niya. Yun. Ito. Alright. This is the main tumor. The main mass. Nanggala natin. No? Alright. Si Chica kasi in, is in her twilight years. No? Ibig sabihin na reach niya na yung maximum age ng, uh, ng isang aso no? dito sa atin sa Pilipinas. But they want to give her that comfortable life because nagserbisyo siya at saka nag, uh, you know, um, inalagaan na rin nila. Ayaw naman nilang pabayaan na lang na mag-wither and mamatay ng hindi nila ginagawa ng paraan. Kaya papaoperahan sa atin. Pag radical mastectomy, sometimes isang row lang, isang hilera lang yung ginagawa ng ibang beds, no? And then, maghihintay ng mga few months or few weeks, no, for four to six weeks, tsaka gagawin yung isa. No? However, kung talagang aggressive yung tumor, sometimes by the time you reach uh, two or 
three or four months. Ang laki na agin rin ng tumors, mahirap kaya sinasabay na. From the history of Chica's condition, mabilis na magiging tumors, so pagsasabay na lang natin. And we are going to remove both rows of uh, uh, of the mammary glands is radical mastectomy. Napaka importante that if we uh, when we remove tumors, we also remove a certain margin doon sa so 2 centi, 2 to 3 cm margin kung affected yung uh, muscles tinatanggal din natin yan no para masaid natin yung tumor cells doon sa area no para maiwasan natin yung pagbalik o pagtubo ulit ng tumors doon sa sa katawan So after 3 hours, nakita natin, natapos na rin natin yung tumors. We made some adjustments so that uh, mas, ma, mas madali yung recovery nitong ni Chica. Hopefully in the coming days, mas mag-improve siya, mas, mas lumakas pa siya para makauwi na siya agad doon sa kanila. Uh, kapag may nakapaka yung bukol sa dede ng inyong mga alagang aso, Iksangguni na agad ninyo ito sa inyong veterinaryo. This is uh, Chica, six days after you know, surgery natin, no? Okay, tignan natin yung... Nililinis naman yung uh, sugat niya regularly. Uh, but now we're just... I just wanna knock. So, expected natin talagang swollen pa. And there are some discharge, no? May discharge ko tayo nakikita sa kanya. Konting-konti na lang. Konti na lang daw. So, ano pa dito, expected yan. Kaya kasi talagang binanat natin yung skin dito. Pansin nyo, wala na yung mga mamari glands dito because we removed both of them. Both rows on the right and the left. At saka yung malaking bukol nga dito, no? Uh, nakita na lang natin dito is yung scar. So, this is just 10 days. She's feeling very well. And uh, hopefully, in the next few days, mas pag-improve pa siya. No? Malakas na siya kumain. No? And then, buo na rin yung dumi. Kanitilas na, although we're trying to limit her movements. Kasi, para hindi mabatak itong mga magbihis, itong mga wounds, no? But, they're healing quite well. Uh, more than what I'm expecting, no? Uh, so, this is a 15-year-old Belgian Malinois. Kaya, matanda na. At saka yung healing process niya is kind of impaired as well also. But she's in good spirits and she's coping and healing well. Mas maliit na bukol, mas magandang tanggalin kaysa kumalat pa ito. So, remember itong mga tumors na ito, itong mga masas, lalo na sa mammary glands, hindi yung liliit, palaki yan. At yung aso niyo, hindi babata, kundi patanda. So, palaki at patanda sila. Uh, so, habang bata pa, habang maliit pa yung bukol, Habang maganda pa yung health conditions ng aso, patanggal na natin para hindi na ito kumalat, mas mabilis yung recovery, mas mapapa-extend natin ang buhay na ating mga fur babies. So if you like this video, please hit like and the subscribe button. My name is Dr. Thresho and see you again next week.